Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at the second release of Beta 2 of Elementor 3.0. It'll all make sense. <laughs> They're doing their beta uh, rollout for 3.0 of Elementor. They did it in two phases. You can check out the first phase uh, in a previous video that I did. But today they're introducing their new theme builder. And oh man, this thing looks nice. And I'm just going to show you just the interface and how they're going to have you approach building out uh, an entire theme across your Elementor powered uh, WordPress site. So they say, what's new in this theme builder? The new theme builder is a React based application which provides an overview of the site, including all site parts, header, footer, global page template, global post template, and more. Every part of the site is intuitively within reach, making the task of designing a complete website uh, that much easier. Your confused days are over, et cetera, et cetera. I'll link to this GitHub post uh, in the video uh, below. But I, I think really what is the the biggest takeaway here is just Elementor's uh, approach to presenting theme building to their users and control shift in E on a Windows device uh, I'm not hovered over that control shift in E will bring up uh, the theme builder panel inside of Elementor. As you can see in front of us, we have those main uh, components of building out a site. You, you need a header, you need a footer, you need a single post, you need a single page, you need an archive, you need a search results, and you need an error uh, 404 page. These are the most uh, important parts of any WordPress theme and that can be, or most parts are always designed when you're you know, getting a uh, a new theme for your WordPress website. And then they're categorized into uh, these sections as well on the left-hand side, which automatically makes you assume that, wow, I can have collections of these things, which you can. So let's just start by doing a quick header. So I'm going to hit the plus symbol on the header. And it's going to drop me into building out uh, a header uh, template through use of their blocks, let's say. So I can pick any one of these headers as my as my header. So I'm going to insert it here. Take a look at this one real quick. Um, looks decent enough. So we'll insert that. And if I wanted to, I could come up here and change the site logo. I can drop in a navigation uh, if I had one on this site and I could continue to build out uh, this template of my, of my header. But we're just going to hit publish for uh, demonstration sake, and it's automatically going to say, where do you want to display this template? We haven't defined yet where this template is going to be. And we're going to say, include this across uh, the entire site, because this is a header. And more than likely, we want to have this across uh, the entire site. And then we're going to go to our theme builder settings once again. And now it's going to give us this overview of all of our global parts, your site global parts. And you can see that it's active through the little green um, icon there. If I go into the header section, it's going to give me a, a better preview of what this header looks like. Unfortunately, I picked probably one of the most sparse headers to, <laughs> to, 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 to demonstrate here. But there should be a logo on the left. There should be a navigation uh, on the right hand side. You can see who published it. Uh, if you named it, it's named there. But here's the interesting thing. The instances are highlighted here. So you have quick access to edit these conditions. So you can imagine a world where you're looking at maybe multiple headers across the site, especially those of you who are doing promotional pages, landing pages, that kind of thing. And you want to quickly change when uh, a, a particular header appears. Well, now you have like this global view of your entire site and you can come into any of these parts and edit this, you can quickly, um, I didn't want to click on edit, we can go back. You can quickly replicate these blocks. I mean, these are the same things that you've been able to do with parts of Elementor before, but now this is all coming together into this theme building control panel. Uh, and you can rename it, you can delete it, you can export it, uh, bring it to another uh, component. But if we go into archive, and this is just a subtle touch. Uh, when you go into archive, of course, your archive blocks are already selected here, right? So if I wanted to say, okay, this is the this is the template I want to use for my uh, archives pages. Yeah, it looks good to me. I insert it. 
Uh, my particular site doesn't have any because I kind of just wiped it out recently. So there's not a lot of blog posts on here if, uh, if only for just the hello world. I have my archives in here. I'll hit publish, add the condition. And it already knows this person, this user is here in the archives page. So obviously it's going to default it to include on all archives. So it's a subtle touch, but it, it, that little thing makes your workflow, you start to move through building sites a lot faster, right? You're not having to search, okay, what was this again? This is an archive page. I then have to find the archives on the drop down page. It just automatically sets it for you. And I really, really, uh, I just appreciate those little touches. Go back to the theme builder. And again, here's all of the global parts I've built. I built my header, I built my archive, uh, and I can go through and import these uh, if I had more, but I can go out and continue to build the rest of the site. And now just imagine a world where you're bringing in custom elements to your theme builder from one site to the next, maybe a cloud sync like I was showing with a Brizzy uh, uh, feature the other day. This is really nice. This is still in beta, obviously. Uh, beta 2, don't install this on a production site. But if you go to the, their GitHub pages, these different steps they want you to, uh, th that you can take, these different scenarios for you to test the theme builder just to make sure everything's working uh, the way that it should. This looks really cool. And uh, I'm excited to see where they go with it. Again, I, I really think they're, they're building up, uh, especially this being its own sort of React app, maybe building up to that SaaS offering pretty soon where you'll be able to do this in the cloud and you can build out templates in the Elementor cloud and then send this out to all of your Elementor sites or hosted Elementor sites if that's the thing that's coming. Uh, but anyway, I just like the approach of it. I'm excited for you to see it. Uh, let me know what you think about this approach. Are you playing with it in a beta? Uh, are you excited for the 3.0 release? Are you holding off on any kind of uh, big project builds until 3.0 is ready? Uh, or are you using another page builder? Let me know in the comments below. It's PluginTut.com. PluginTut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. Ring a bell every once in a while. All right. We'll see you in the next video.